Hello and welcome. So here I am, playing Yakuza 0 once again. I haven't played uh, since two weeks ago, but I thought I'd play again um, and kind of continue from where I left. I did play a little bit after I recorded last time. So I'm in the restaurant. Um, I guess this is like a lobby or something, or no? An office, not really a... And, and that's, you can do first person. I don't really use it a whole lot, but yeah. But anyway, I... I was watching a movie earlier called... Of Unknown Origin, starring Peter Weller. And I'd recorded off of TCM Underground, and it, you know. And what happened was, I was kind of a, like, I don't know, I guess pissed. Last time I tried to record it because... Because the whole movie didn't record, I, the recording got cut off. So, it was... And that, that happened with the strain recently, too, on the, on the, the final uh, the season finale. I mean, fortunately, I was able to watch the rest of the episode on the FX app. On my tablet, but the uh, the DVR, the UV, UVerse DVR is starting to show its age, and so uh, it's one of the reasons that my parents and I are uh, switching over to Xfinity next week, and that and the, the bill get, has gotten really expensive these last few months. So we'll see if we like it. Um, I, uh, yeah, and I hope the internet will be better. In fact, I don't know if it'll affect my uploading to YouTube, but here's this guy. Uh, I had to fight him earlier. Well, that's interesting. リートはい。リサン、何かあったか。私とても心配してる。リサンどこ。え、is でも急いであげないと薬切れると打たれた傷の痛み痛い。多分動けなくなるくらい。He got shot. Well, that sucks. So anyway, um I I I thought Evan Owen Orchard was a was a pretty good movie. I'll have to talk to this guy more later. Um I mean, I, I'd recommend it if you're into uh, creature features, because it, you know, or, or animal type of horror movies, because basically it's about uh, Peter Weller. He's a, you know, he's a family man, and he stays at home while his wife and kid are on vacation because he wants to uh, um, try and get up and, you know, you know, promote in the company he's working for. And so he has to uh, deal with a rat that uh, is in his house as well. Um, it's, it's a pretty good movie, though. I'd recommend it. And I, I like Peter Weller. I like his voice. And I've seen him in other movies. Um, Leviathan, which is a, an alien ripoff with an underwater setting. And I thought it was, you know, it was a decent movie for what it was. I mean, I'd, I'd watch it again. It's been a while since I've seen it. Um, it was a troubled production, though, and if you watch the uh, video from Good Bad Flex, uh, the, the per yeah, I don't remember the guy's name, but he talks about it in the video, why, why that was a troubled production, which is, a, you know, a lot of interesting information that I didn't really know, uh, before, you know, um, I'd watch that one again. I mean, it's not a great movie, but it's decent for what it is. You know, it's kind of a rip-off. You know? I mean, if you're gonna rip off, rip something, you gotta rip off the best. I mean, 
Because there's numerous alien ripoffs. You know. Just to show you how influ influential that um, movie really was and, and still is. Um, you know, and, and Harry Dean Stanton passed away, uh, I think it was a week ago. Yeah, recently, so. That was, that was a, you know. I, I, I thought, I mean, I think he lived to be 91 or 92. I mean, he lived a, a long life, but it, it was just sad to, that he had to go, and uh, I'll have to talk about him sometime, but. And I also saw Peter Weller in The Adventures of Buckaroo Banzai, or is Banzai or Banzi? I think it's Banzai. Banzai? I don't remember. But anyway, it's The it Adventures of Buckaroo Banzai across the 8th dimension. But that was a fun movie too, and I, I have to go back and watch that because it's been a while since I've seen it. Um, you know, kind of a good uh, psychotronic type of movie. And then I also saw Peter Weller in Naked Lunch, you know, David Cronenberg movie based on the William S. Burroughs book. Um, I don't know what else I saw him in. I'm trying to remember, because I think there was another movie. Oh, Robocop, yeah, and Robocop 2. But I like Robocop 1 better than 2. I didn't see 3, but yeah, he was in the original Robocop. Um, yeah, it's interesting how, you know, Paul Verhoeven, who had directed Robocop, he also directed Total Recall with Arnold Schwarzenegger. But originally, David Cronenberg was going to direct Total Recall. You know, so there's that, that connection with, uh, I guess, the six degrees of Peter Weller. <laughs> I don't know. He I don't think he's done a lot of, like, voice acting for video games, but... It'd be cool to see him do some more of it. Because I like his voice, and he's, you know. And he I like his Batman as well, and then the Batman, uh, the Dark Knight Returns animated movie. I'd only seen part one, but I do eventually plan on seeing part two. Which is weird how they split it up like that. But I think it's because... They wanted to make it more like the graphic novel. In that sense, I have to look into that. Why they did that? But I thought it was a, you know, I'll have to, I'll have to go back and watch the first one, and then I could probably find part, part two for dirt cheap. I, I wouldn't be surprised. I mean, it's been out for so long. I just never got around to, to getting it. Although it might be weird if I go to go somewhere and buy it, and then they'll be like, they'll ask me, um, the people working wherever, I, you know, let's say at a used record store, they'll probably ask me if I buy part one. I'm like, yeah, I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> I don't reminds me of how I was listening to the 22 Shots of Moves and Horror podcast. Uh, I was at work. That was, it was a few days ago when I was working. Um, it was on Blackula and Scream Blackula Scream. Before that, they had talked about how sometimes they'll just pop in like a horror movie sequel, but they won't watch the first one first. So they'll just watch like, you know, Friday the 13th Part 3 and 4 or whatever, but not without watching the first one first, you know? Which I, I've done that before. Like, I watch Evil Dead 2, because that's my favorite of the Evil Dead movies. You know, which, you know, kind of, you know, I do feel like that, that that doesn't, that's not really a bad thing because a lot of horror sequels, I mean, yeah, the story does continue in a sense, but at the same time, there is a degree of the stories um, being standalone. So, I don't know, it's just interesting, like, you know, if you, it doesn't, to me, it doesn't matter, like, if you hadn't seen the first one in a while, but let's say, oh, you're in the mood for one of the sequels, I mean, that's, you know, that's your decision, I mean, I, it doesn't, I mean, yeah, it's kind of weird, I guess, but, you know, I, I don't have a problem with it. <laughs> 
I don't remember if I've talked about 22 shots before, but... I know I've talked about body bags. Um, I'm gonna see what I'm gonna get here. But basically, they have, you know... I think it's like three to five people on the podcast at a time, and they talk about horror movies. And I'd, I'd recommend it if you're, if you're, you know, into horror and you have time for a podcast. Because I think they, can, they go on for about three or four hours per episode. I want to see if I can help this lady. Yeah. Yeah, Harry Dean Stanton, man. Well, what a loss. He was... I, and I remember him in, a, in a Repo, Repo Man as well. I'll have to go back and watch that again. I should get the Criterion of Repo Man because that's probably the best release of it. I remember that being a pretty good movie as well, though. And, Kind of sci-fi. I have a different take on sci-fi too. How it's kind of a, a, you know, not really a futuristic sci-fi. Which I do like the futuristic stuff, but even like the more, you know, modern day stuff it, it is good too. I think. It's just interesting to me. But yeah, I'm looking forward to switching over to Comcast. You know, I'm looking forward to something different and see if we like it. Yeah, it just sucks when, you know, TV services have to jack up their prices to, you know, ridiculous, uh, ridiculous amount of money anyway. What are these guys doing? Okay, I'm gonna go and check on what I have to do on Lee San and whatnot. That's why I came over here anyway, I mean, isn't it? I think it's through. I don't know if it's through here. That was a cat. Yeah, I have to go in here again. That was a card. I think it's AI Uhara. I don't know. I don't speak Japanese, so. Yeah. Yeah, I'm glad you're in s still one pieces too. Hmm? Ah, Oh, different. 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 Oh, I guess you don't, huh? Oh, not bad. Yeah, he... You're really need to know. だから二人でいろいろ動いてるんでしょ。だったら私にも何か手伝わせて。ただずっとここにこもって守られてるだけなんて。私。本仕官で、お前をさらいに来てヤクザらが追ってやろう。え？電話の男や U ターンはそいつ
そいつがお前を渡せ言うてきたんや。Yeah. 俺がさっき会うてきた。お前を狙っとる理由、聞き出そう思ったんやけどな。その前に札に連れてかれてもうだ。サンカナカラー。西谷も、俺の雇い主の佐賀いう男も、元をたどれば同じ大見連合や。どうやら大見の中でも、牧村誠をさらう派と。殺す派で別々に動いとるらしい。That's better. 西谷はさらう派、佐川が殺す派。Pretty much, I mean. せや。けど、今一番の問題は佐賀の方や。あいつは多分。いや。俺がミスミスこの子殺さんかったこと感づいとる。なんやとほんまかお前らは、すぐ蒼天堀から出た方がええ。ここも佐賀に見つかるのは多分時間の問題や。Yeah, I bet he could be Sagawa up. れて逃げる当てないか。まあないこともない。But I don't think どこまで逃げても。Majima wants to risk it。この子はいつまでビクビクせなあかんねん。俺が何とかしたら、とにかく今町を出る。あなたは一緒に逃げないの？この町にとらわれの宮。一緒に乗ると、帰ってあんたらが逃げ切れんようになる。しゃあない。誠、ここ出るで。あんまり時間もないようや。え、他にも誰か。Who is that? Ah, it's the guy from earlier. Nandeo, my Masako, no go to Skedikanka. Lisa Anata, my new Atasino, s h i t a k u r t a Anata, itayo Niponde Kiru, Chugo Kuji, Totemo Tai, pretty much. And I would think that it is. So, yeah, I would help this guy if I was in Majima's shoes. Because he's trying to help, you know, he's trying to help out Majima. Or, yeah, Majima. But I don't know what these guys are doing. I have to fight him? Oh, This will be fun. I guess the last guy is homeless. Oh, thugs, okay. So that's why they're dressed like that. <laughs> Uh, it's kind of messed up. What do you ever do to you? Yoga Sundra Moy Rancho Aka Futsu and I did Koitra. Lee, son of Gomitore Koitra, you are Mamma de Sansan San Natori Makoto, Kutia. He needs a shave. I got the beard. Should be interesting. I think I'm gonna start off with the bat, I guess. I don't know. I hope this fight isn't too difficult. Sutton Boy Men. Might be a good idea to also do breaker. I can kind of rack up a combo, and that does a fair amount of damage when you utilize it. That's what I like about breaker. I don't use it a lot because it's kind of slow. 
But it does give you the upper hand. I know it's kind of cheap to use it. I'm gonna do any more health. Uh, yes, I mean, that's how I get that. And I get one um, CP for it. Uh, CP for that, which is completion point. Yeah. Kind of forget what that stands for, but those are cool because you can you can get extra items and you know unlock some stuff with them. So it's good to st stack up on those. Okay. Two can play, two can play that game. Finish off strongly here. Nice. That wasn't too bad. Oh, he doesn't have an just Chinese underground dock. You gotta be careful, Lee. That's true. Yeah. Okay, so I was just going to say. お前。誠を連れて早く行こうでろ。何が起きてるのリーさん。誠、すまんが私はリーのさは後で合流する。お前のことは俺が守ってる。急いで。すぐに他の追手が集まってくるんや。いや、I Alright, see you guys later. I found these guys too. I don't look so tough, but... Yeah. I'm gonna have to fight these guys first. Uh, I don't like as. <laughs> I... This is...
I don't know. It's probably better to stand right next to her. Okay, that'll save me some trouble, hopefully. I don't know how many guns I can use, but... Aw, oh, man. That's, this is tough. I should have just started with a bat. Yeah. Yeah, escort mission in this game are a bit tough. But I think I'll I think I'll be alright here. Yeah, maybe I'm better off using the bat and just standing next to her. I could build up my stamina with this. And then use the boost attack. That might be the best way to do this because... There. I mean, I don't like escort missions in general. But I don't know, this is kind of a pain in the butt because... You're basically defending a blind girl. Who... I wish he was... I don't know, it's just annoying. I mean, if this was a more open area, it would be a little bit easier. But it's not, so what can you do? Reminds me of X Play when they would, when Adam Sessler and Morgan Webb were were very, um, you know, against escort missions. Okay. Wow. I mean, the good thing is you don't have to start over if you mess up on another fight. And there are, there are places where you can hide. So I have to go here, so I'm going to go around this way to get to the massage parlor. I'm gonna, yeah, I know. I'm going to hide, though. Make sure no one's coming. I think there's some guys right there, though. But I'll hide from him. <sighs> yeah. I, okay, I'm gonna try and get up to there. Hopefully nobody sees me. Okay, well, come to the, and fight. Yeah, if you hide and they see you, they can't fight you, which is good. I mean, go. yeah, they're gone now. At least, at least it gives you a way to hide. You don't have to fight. Which basically makes fighting optional. You know. I don't know if there's anybody around here. Oh. Some guys right there. I don't know if they'll see.
Means I might get into another fight, but... You can only avoid so much, right? <coughs> Who's that? I guess it's supposed to happen. Quick time event, I guess. Okay. Well, that's that's all right. I guess. I mean, yeah, it's quicker than having to fight a bunch of guys. I mean, this game does have quick time events, but there's not too many. I mean, it doesn't overuse them, which is good. Yeah, I mean, I'm not that far off from where I need to go. I think these guys... I'm gonna see if these guys are gonna do anything, because I might have to fight them. I don't know. The way they're standing there makes me wonder. I don't know what... Yeah, I guess there's no way around these guys. An ambush, okay. Well, that would make sense then. Trying out that gun there, yeah, I have to do the silver. But I'm sure I'll do better. Try again. I mean, I don't need to use the gun then, I don't know. guy left. Where'd he go? Oh. Get some. Haha. <laughs> I think that's it for fighting. Who's that? Oh, hey, Lee. Yeah, we're fine. Kurumayamishou,大丈夫や。仲間が見とる。それより車や。まだ追ってが来るかもしれんねやろ。車はあれや。超マトレ。I thought they were actually going inside the Shaw's parlor, but they're taking the car, yeah, that's right. Which is fine, I mean I don't really care either way. Oh Well, I don't know how that happened. Yeah, I don't know if Lee planted a bomb or if it was 
Sagawa's man or what? But I didn't expect that. Who's that? Oh, that's her. Makoto. Are you alright? She might be dead, I don't know. Makoto. She doesn't look so hot. Speaking of which, uh, Sagawa, Sagawa, I don't know how to say his name, but. You kind of brought it upon yourself, dude. <laughs> ちゃんと約束守るつもりだったのによ。Getting involved in your Gogo -Go 13 shenanigans. But he just couldn't kill her. You know? So you're gonna shoot him. Oh! Oh, isn't that ironic? <laughs> Who's this? Well, there's a silencer too, which is even better. I guess he got knocked out. Alright, tug of war. Oh, okay, I'll just finish up right. So that's exciting. Yeah, I guess I will save. So I must be going back to play as Kiryu next, I would think, if Majima's knocked out. Um, which is weird that that guy did that. I, I guess he's not on anybody's side. I mean, he might even be an assassin. I don't know. But. Yep. Kiryu ga nuketa doji magumi dewa kanbu no hitto datta kuze ni kawari. This is a good recap because I didn't. I didn't record this part. I don't like him. あわのは立花不動産が持つ空の一つぼの情報を奪うべく、キリュウに立花の身柄を引き渡すよう迫る。And <笑> I did have to fight。あの、同島組を挙げて包囲網を迫らせた。Yeah. It's interesting because that's a lot like the gun that Sagawa had. And he would have gotten shot too, but he decided not to shoot Kiryo. I mean, I guess that pistol is good because it's compact. You know, it, it's easy to carry. Ensnared. Huh. Interesting. Hey. <laughs> uh, 
Oh, that's funny. <laughs> I just carry you anyway. It was uh, that he was with Nishi. Well, obviously that's not him. Oh, well. I see he doesn't have a home anymore. That's kind of messed up. Okay, well, I guess he's going to stay away for now. This will be interesting, because I wasn't expecting that. I wasn't expecting that explosion, and I wasn't expecting his apartment to be on fire. So, yeah. I'll call you Okay. Sure thing. Oh. I don't want to go back over there. There was someone at the door, but I guess not. Um. What about? Not the catfight club, <laughs> but I don't know if there's anyone anywhere on the map here. I'm trying to find the real estate business. Hmm. We got some more health items. Cat fighting right now. I think it's this. It's, yeah. I don't have to go farther. I don't want to fight anybody if I can help it. Yeah. <laughs> 
The guy with the knife is always a pain in the butt. But he's he's knocked out now. Okay. going this way, I think, yeah. And uh, get some. Uh, I should try to get some more health items and try to go over there. That's what I should have done before this fight, but that's okay.
Yeah, I'll go here. I guess this is where I'm supposed to go. Ah! Ah, interesting. <laughs> All right, well, that's weird. I agree. Why would anyone argue? argue? I don't think I will tune in again. That's true, it does. Hi. Funny. Be something to do later, yeah. Judgment Kathy, I guess. I'll do it now. Yeah. I think I'll end this with the sub story. Unless in an S and M. Uh, I will do I'll go with that. Unless <laughs> in an S and M. It'll be fun. Uh, 
Okay, well, I think I've done recording for now. <sighs> this is, uh, has been an eventful recording. Yeah, I think I'm done recording for now, as I just said. And, um, I'll have to pick this up later, you know, in, a, in a week or so. Um, so, thanks for watching. Um, I'll be playing as a continuous cure you next time, I, I imagine. And thanks for watching. And be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye now.